help you make sure you stay prepared for the upcoming heat. It's hot now. It's going to get a hot later, a lot hot later in the in the week as well. The app is of course free. You can download it from the App Store or Google Play. Thank you for watching us here on ABC 7 at 6. Don't forget, we are back tonight on ABC 7 at 10. We will see you then. Thank you for watching ABC 7. Let's get to our storm track for the forecast, Dave. Yeah, you know, temperatures are going to get hotter. We're going to see some of the hottest temperatures of the year so far spread over several days. So I'll talk all about it coming up. We are here to demand that the city do something to protect the public health concerns of the, of the barrio residents. People in the South Central El Paso neighborhood calling for change. This after claims of unhealthy air quality affecting their children. President Biden's new executive order restricting asylum seekers from crossing takes effect in a matter of hours. The guidelines outlined in the order to decrease the number of migrants crossing illegally daily. We need to have a bipartisan agreement. And without a bipartisan agreement, we'll continue to struggle as a community. El Paso Mayor Oscar Leeser was also at today's announcement. That is him at the White House, what he is saying, plus reactions from other borderland leaders. Say you get your tax bill and you can't afford it. You can pay whatever you want to pay. Two extra depth on ABC7. How you can save money on rising home values. What experts are saying about property taxes and exemptions. Live, where news comes first. From the Mesilla Valley at Las Cruces to El Paso and the Borderland. This is ABC7 at 10. Good evening and thank you for joining us for ABC 7's 10 at 10. I'm Paul C. Collar. And I'm Stephanie Valle. And we are under an ABC 7 first alert for those triple digit temperatures arriving here in the borderland. And to storm track weather we go, here's your first forecast from Chief Meteorologist Doppler Dave Spillman. Yeah, you know, we're going to finally start to heat things up. I say that because, you know, the cloud coverage that we had today kept temperatures down just below 100 degrees. But if you look at the numbers that we hit today, 98 degrees the high temperature just shy of triple digits if you look all across town 97 in las cruces deming and 96 95 there in alamogordo and here's the clouds that we've been tracking all day today a lot of these high level clouds drifting across our skies again suppressing the heat just a little bit but what we're going to be expecting the next several days temperatures between 104 and 106 could we see some record highs i'll talk all about it coming up in what well.